What do I do? No pressure. You just agree. <laughs> Make up. Would you like me? Kira was about to say, we're going to try and keep this really casual because my poor team, not familiar with the camera. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> so today we are having a team day and that means that all five of my team are here. We do this once a month and we basically just, I was going to say we just hang out, but no, we actually get a lot of work done. We go out for lunch together, we do a lot of planning, we do a lot of team training, and we also try and get some of our group projects done that are a little bit harder to do on our own. So I thought, what better chance to actually introduce you to my whole team, because some of them you probably talked to already in the emails, or you might've come across in my Facebook group, and they do so much behind the scenes that it's about time I drag them in front of the camera. But first I thought I might share with you some little things that I have recently bought because I have been shopping for a few more coloring books. So I've got The City Among the Stars by Hannah Carlson. This is her latest book and I've always really liked her books. I love how they're printed. I love the paper and the artwork as like is the same for all of her books is just really, really nice. This cat's been on my, this cat. That's what happens when the book is called A Million Cats. <laughs> this book has been on my list for a while. It's called A Million Cats. I'm pretty sure there's not a million cats in here, but there sure are a lot. So given my love for Moscow and the fact that he's basically a mascot for our team in, in our house and in our studio, this just felt like a book that had to be added to my collection. So to help with my transformation series with Disney villains, this book was recommended to me. This is like really, really thick. And it actually opens from the top, which is really different. This one's written in French, which doesn't matter when it's a coloring book because it's only the cover. But I think that's why I've never come across stuff like this before. And once I found this one on Amazon, I actually found a few others. So a little tip, if you fi can't find enough variety in coloring books, try searching for art therapy. <laughs> I think it might be said differently, I'm not sure. But try searching in French and you might find some more variety. I thought it was a Peter Pan book, but of course, because it's in French and I didn't read it, it turns out it was just another Disney variety book, but I'm kind of okay with that but I do hope there are at least a few Peter Pan pages in here. This one's got some thicker lines too. So I am really excited to look in these. The paper does seem a lot thicker than what a lot of other books are. So these should be really good. Also this one, it's another one that's French and I've had a lot of requests to buy this book and I'm really curious to try it. You probably can't even see this on the camera, but this one is a bit of a mystery coloring challenge because from the picture, you think you can see what the picture might be, but once you actually color it, it ends up being something completely different. That'll be an interesting challenge. This one, I don't even know who recommended this or if I just saw it on Amazon. It's RJ Hampson Steampunk Houses. Now I don't color much steampunk, but I do love steampunk. The artwork in this book just looks beautiful. So this is Kristen, who many of you have already talked to a lot but have never seen. <laughs> so it's about time we actually introduce you to Kristen, who does so much of our amazing work with our community or in our Facebook group and on our emails. And when we launch the Colour Cube, you are answering like a hundred emails a day, helping everyone sort out their orders, answering a million questions. And let's let's be honest, since well, how many colouring books, how many pencils did you own before you started working for me? 72. I can yeah, tell so you exactly. one set. Yeah, right? one set. Yeah, absolutely. How many sets of pencils do you own now? <laughs> All I can tell you is some of them are propping up my computer. <laughs> a lot. A lot. I think, I'm an enthusiast. Yeah, Kristen has become quite the colouring pencil enthusiast. And I think your colouring book collection might put mine to shame at this point. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have FOMO a lot. So yeah, 70 or 80, I think I counted at last, at last check. Books. Uh, books. Yeah. Books. Yeah. That doesn't count digital. I'm a big fan of digital too. So yeah. Yeah. So if you're in our Facebook group, please keep an eye out for Kristen and say hello when you see her posting and know that she is just as much of a coloring book fan. 
Wow. As, uh, a little bit more than. <laughs> probably most people. But so. I owe it all to you, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but not to be confused with Kristen. Well, we just met. We got Kirsten. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that has caused so much confusion in this office, especially when we've recently been working on the collab with Christy. <laughs> that just, it's okay. But um, Kirsten here, yeah, after all that, I almost just got your name wrong. That's all right. I get it a lot. She got her name wrong the other day, so we're all off the hook at least once. <laughs> so Kirsten has been working with us for about three months now, um, helping with graphic design, which is a really big thing because up until this point, I've had to do pretty much all the graphic design by myself um, with a bit of help from Natalie, who you'll meet soon. And it is probably one of the biggest jobs in everything we do because it's not just our YouTube channel that we do graphic design on, um, like thumbnails and stuff like that. It's also Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram and photos of all our work. And probably the biggest thing is our products, which is what you're working on at the moment. Exactly. Same and way. I know that everyone's pretty excited well, everyone will be pretty excited to hear what you're working on at the moment. <laughs> Hi, I'm currently working on basically the first set of backgrounds for the 2024 planner that is coming out. So I am designing all sorts of different colouring pages for you guys to enjoy. So, and I'm loving doing it. Yeah, so in the past, um, all the colouring backgrounds have all been like fully drawn by me, designed by me, like the colouring planner has been completely my project all by myself until this year. And this year, because a lot of people have been requesting much more variety, they don't want to colour the same thing for the whole month. And I get it, I understand, but in order to make that possible, it just like that's like 90 i think we added it we up 96 wasn't 96 it? 96 different, 96 different, different spreads, I think. designs we would have to come up with <laughs> and i just don't think that's going to be possible by myself so kirsten here's going to help i'm still doing the initial drawings and then we're going to work as a team to actually take some of those initial drawings do a little bit of fancy computer work and use them to design more designs from the same drawing as we'll show you here i've designed like a big set of succulents and then she's taking those succulents and actually turning them into some different layouts so instead of getting one page out of those we might get three or four so it's kind of like a collaborative effort so it's still my artwork on the pages but Kirsten is now kind of like a co-artist with me for this year's planner which is very exciting that one was so full I don't know if this will fit I might need two <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make a mess on it Get this on camera. <laughs> is this a good or a bad time to introduce Natalie? It's a great time. So this is Natalie. <laughs> Actually, we, we got to meet Natalie uh, very quickly in the last vlog that we did. Natalie has been here for a year now. Yeah. A year now with us. And she does a little bit of everything. She's mm -hmm. our second video editor. She's been re more recently doing a lot of our shorts. Mm -hmm. She's the one editing this vlog and hopefully more of our vlogs as we try and do this a little bit more frequently. But she also helps with so many other things here. She's taken on a bit of graphic design before we had Kirsten jump in. Um, she helps with our blog posts. She helps sort things and clean up after me because I am very nicely organized, but I'm also very messy. So <laughs> I do need a little bit of help with that from time to time. <laughs> So Natalie does those amazing things. Um, she also helps keeps our, keep our team accountable <laughs> to ticking things off in our Notion checklist. That's right. She's very good at that. <laughs> so this is Natalie, who currently is making her own mess, but at least yeah. it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty kind. This is how I currently had all my old diamond dots sorted from when I did that video ages ago. And some of my more newer diamonds are sort of in here as well. And all the little bags is just in this jewellery case. It kind of has worked because it fits in my cupboard here, which is also next to my washi tape, which is in the same thing. So it's worked well. But we've just been sent this unit from Art Dot that has all these little storage things built in. And so we thought we'd give it a go, which is why Natalie's here trying to sort of <laughs> refill these jars. But in the meantime, before we just talk about ideas of the vlog, what are we talking about? 
I don't know. <laughs> so now we're getting camera shy. <laughs> it's like, who's hosting this meeting? Why are we, <laughs> Why are we talking about that? Okay. At the end of the day, everybody, we still say grace. So, <laughs> the blog has the fallen by the wayside and we need to find, we need a system to get back on. So, when we have questions like that, that could be a really good thing for Kristen to stop and research those questions. And if, there's, if they're in-depth enough, we've got a blog post. If they're like super in-depth enough, we might even have a main video. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have an interesting short. And this is the kind of content that will have those shorts to hit that goal that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. But I mean, there are just so many ideas just here on the board. Yeah. Like, that old video, it still gets a ton of views, which means that's still a big question. So let's do a new vlog. For everyone who still seems to think that Shane has never appeared on camera, which isn't even true, here is Shane again. <laughs> this is Shane. My husband, the other half of the creative, that creative couple. He is also like basically the business manager of the entire company. He does all of the logistics. He organizes most of our manufacturing. He's like our production manager. He's basically the producer. He does the editing of like all of the videos. <laughs> He's just like does a heck of a lot. Um, business would be really stuck with that. He knows all the passwords to everything, so he's a very dangerous man. <laughs> but now you can introduce yourself, so. Well, you've pretty much done it all, <laughs> haven't you? Yes. I'm Shane, and I do all the stuff that Sarah just said before. That's about it. <laughs> he does all the things that I don't want to do, and so I say, Shane, can you please do this? Because I don't know what I'm doing. And he makes the magic happen when the computers break and I just say Shane come over and he waves his hands and the, Shane, the computers work again because they're scared of him. There you go. That's everyone needs a Shane. <laughs> that was pretty awkward. <laughs> Seventeen-year-old preserved oh, chocolate no. wrapper all the way from this. Wow, you're so old when you see. <laughs> In the bin. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Here's all the highlighted words that I was trying to learn. Observant. Osservante. <laughs> Speaking of observant, we've made quite a mess in our attempt to clean up today. <laughs> you need to make a mess to clean up. Organized chaos, right? Now. Or yeah, as is our rule in this office. <laughs> We're not making this. We're not making this. We're deep. We're making up. My part Rubik's Cube from when I tried to pull off turning a Rubik's Cube into Skittles. So one of the things about being a YouTuber is that a lot of companies want to send you a lot of things and we actually say no to a lot because we don't want to make commitments to companies unless we think that we can do a video because it just, it's not a good uh, relationship to have with brands if people are just sending you stuff and you don't give them anything in return. But sometimes brands do send us stuff just to give us a chance to try them with no guarantees. And sometimes I have every intention of using them. We have so many things going on that we just never get around to them. And today while we are cleaning out, I found five sketchbooks <laughs> from different brands that I actually would really like to use because they look really good. And I've never opened them, not because I won't use them, but I didn't want to use them without stopping and making sure I didn't have a video planned for them first. So today, why don't we have a look? Artika sent me these two really nice premium sketchbooks. The pages actually tear out, which is really cool. It's 180 GSM. The paper feels pretty good too. Well, this is, it's actually inside this. I haven't even opened this. So Etcher have sent me a 100% cotton paper acid free vegan friendly 220 gsm hot press sketchbook and i haven't used it that just feels criminal <laughs> how have i not opened this it looks beautiful so new rule when when people send things i'm just gonna start opening them and using them it's a really cute little book oh that paper's really thick oh that feels nice natalie come feel this <laughs> Wow, okay. That does sound nice. <laughs> I actually think I'm really going to enjoy that one. If that's hot press, that should handle water, I think. <laughs> hot press is usually watercolour paper, right? <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting nods from Kirsten. Have a feel of this paper, Kirsten. This has been sitting in my cupboard and I've just found it 
and just realise what I've been missing out on. No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. So thank you to Etcha and my apologies for not opening everything sooner. <laughs> and that, that's not the only thing Etcha sent me. They've also sent me another hot press um, mixed media heavyweight paper. But this one is an accordion sketchbook. Have you not seen one of these before? No, I don't think you have. Okay. So what's the point in an accordion? Is it like that you can just like a panorama, you just keep drawing? Mm. Mm. But it also can be used as a sketchbook. But Whoa. So you could, as I say, have it as a book and you can make it as big or as small if you wanted to flip it. Or you can make it. So small. you could do like a drawing as. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. It's really good for landscapes and or if people are just playing with. So you just keep your drawing with. going as long as you want. So I also have from a company called Etched a stone paper notepad. They even printed my name on it. <laughs> Is it made from 100% recycled stone? So that's like not wood, obviously. <laughs> Waterproof, tear resistant, not tear proof. <laughs> and no ink bleed through. That's interesting. Oh, that's like, like plasticky. It feels weird. I mean, it has kind of like chain warped it a bit there by doing that. That's going to be weird. I definitely have to try that at some point. It's like stuff, but there's nothing. Huh? Guys, wait. No, come on. Surely not. Surely that's not normal, right? The process of making this thumbnail is going to give me nightmares. Don't just wear this in public if you want. You're gonna wake up and be like, oh, that I, is creepy. If I find these babies <laughs> anywhere else after this. I was gonna say, you wake up, and wake up tomorrow and they'll just be like stuff on your roof. <laughs> Uh, Is it all going in the bin? Oh, no, I if I find you keeping home. them or hiding them anywhere else? So whenever I feel like slapping off, I'll just see your disapproving face. <laughs> <laughs> Mini one to take on the right. Have a time when you're working remotely. <laughs> right, Sarah, it's all right. This is the book. <laughs> Collecting the hat photo of the pop. <laughs> yeah, the true stuff. <laughs> oh gosh, you're vlogging this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just keep in happy faces that you're happy being photographed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, should we do this? Silly, silly one. Alright, what's that silly? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's <laughs> start so with just everyone holding them up. Should we all peek? <laughs> cool. So I am hoping that now that we've kind of started vlogging that we can give you a vlog video like at least once a month. So if there's something that you'd like to know or that you'd like to see or a burning question that you've had, please let me know in the comments because I would love to share more of what we do here, let you experience more of what it's like to be a part of the team and answer your questions I guess. So leave a comment, please subscribe to this channel for more stuff like this and let me know what you'd like to see next. You're fine.